Entertainer TV, Ali here, time to do a little uh, roundup video from West Brom at the weekend. Probably the less said about that the better. Um, not a great result for us moving forward. The red card from Cameron was a bit silly from Jakob, uh, but you know, it's worked and he's got, his, he's got Cameron sent off. Um, late, winner, late winner for West Brom as well, there's nothing much we can do about it with 10 men. We, we tried to, we nearly held on for a point which would have been good in the circumstances, but less said about that the better. On to the semi cup, semi cup, semi final of the Capital One Cup now, uh, tomorrow against Liverpool at home, first leg. Now, Mark Hughes just on his press conference a couple of minutes ago, um, clean bill of health, only person out shake given with that long term injury. Uh, so we've got, you know, squads all there, everyone's available for selection apart from maybe Jeff Cameron because of that red card, but we have actually put in an appeal. So if that gets overturned, it'll be available. But, you know, it's going to be touch and go, um, depending on, you know, it's the FA, God knows. You can never know what they don't know, never know what they're going to do uh, with decisions like that. So, going into the game, though, Liverpool have got Sturridge out. Is that even a shock? <laughs> is that a shock? Sturridge is out. Um, but going into the game, it's the home leg. I, I just want us to play the football that we can, that we did against Man United, against Man City, against Chelsea, that free-flowing attacking football. And, you know, just kill the tie in the first leg. If we can do that, if we can play like that and put a couple of goals past them, we can finish that game in the first leg. And we can go to the away leg and just set up a shop. And, you know, we're just nicking away a goal and finish it, kill it off. But, you know, you don't know what Liverpool team are going to turn up neither. Is it going to be the team who smashed Man City? Is it going to be the team who lost to West Ham at the weekend? We're sort of similar in that regard. Which team's going to, which team's going to turn up for all that? But, you know, I'm going to probably go with... A win for us. I'm going to go with my heart. I think we, could, if we play that football, there's no stopping us, is there? Really, no stopping us. And just hope there's not many tired legs, you know, coming out of that festive period. Hopefully not. Um, and also a bit of paper talk as well. Someone this week, uh, the Mirror, I think it's the Mirror or the Daily Mail, said Bojan had a 10 million release clause. Absolute nonsense. We rubbished the rumor straight away. Um, which you might even be able to see. You might have put it in a couple of days ago. And today in Mark Hughes' press conference, he's said. There is no 10 million release calls on Bojan. So, you know, we told you that, we knew that. Disregard that. No one's buying Bojan for 10 million. It'd have to be 20 million at least, forget Bojan, I, I, I imagine. Uh, another rumour as well is on out of itch to PSG. Probably more just paper talk. Mark Hughes got no idea where it's come from. I saw another source saying that it was his agent trying to, you know, get us to get him to sign that contract, uh, to offer him that contract, which we should be anyway. We should, we should be tying down. On out of it as soon as possible, especially with in the window now. We need to keep our best players. We, if we want to build and create this team that are going to go far, we need to keep our best players and uh, not let anyone go whatsoever. Um, I haven't seen a lot of other credible transfer rumours. There's talks of Pato. I don't believe we've had talks of him. I don't think he'll make a move to England this January, probably in the summer, if anything. Um, there was a couple of Mbula from Porto. That he's just he's available, not not that we've held talks or anything along those lines. Um, so yeah, so that's just a little bit of paper talk as well for you there. So going into game tomorrow, I'm going to predict a three-one win for us, and hopefully you know that comes through. So let me know your score predictions in the comments below for tomorrow's game. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Let's go,